Good morning, it's me. It has become a little bit of a catchphrase, hasn't it? It's me. Um, Saturday the 19th of May and it's sunshine. It's going to be a mini heat wave again for the next few days, which is good. Today is the day of the cup final. But it's also the day of the Royal Wedding in Windsor. Windsor's a beautiful place. I've been to Windsor on a couple of, couple of occasions and it is a beautiful place. And you've got the long, um, what do they call it, the long mile up to Windsor Castle. Um, and it is beautiful. It's a nice little town. It was disappointing to see last week um, the police out in Windsor moving all the homeless people who were sleeping in doorways or um, wherever they were camping, moving them off the streets. Not moving them to anywhere, but just moving them, you know, like you shovel rubbish. So you've got that, you've got people who've got nothing, who've got no roof over their heads, very little in their tummies, wearing rags, no future and then you've got the royal family not just the royal family but the wedding today is going to cost an extraordinary amount how much her wedding dress is going to cost i don't know uh the designer hasn't been uh notified to us but i've got the feeling it's the australian designers ralph and russo i might be wrong but they're the ones who designed her engagement dress. In fact, it was off the catwalk. And I think the cost of that dress, according to what you read, was somewhere between 56,000 pounds and 65,000 pounds. So an extraordinary amount of money to pay off for a frock. So goodness knows what a wedding dress is gonna cost probably 150, 200,000, maybe more. And then of course she's gonna be wearing, Megan's gonna be wearing a royal tiara of priceless jewels that belongs to the queen or belong to Diana or is simply in the royal collection. You know, these people, they were by accident of birth they're born into this lifestyle of privilege, privilege and ostentation and fabulous wealth. But what good do they do, really, apart from promote themselves? With a click of her fingers, the Queen alone could wipe out world poverty. Why doesn't she? Why doesn't the Pope? Why don't these people do something with the gifts that they've been given. Anyway, the wedding today, and I'd probably watch bits of it on the telly or um, catch it later on because I'm not going to waste the day sitting in. Um, but as it happens, I'm going over to see Alfie with my daughter and there's a party in the nursing home. So I'm going to be roped in to help a little bit with the party. Um, I may make a short video just to show you the decorations and stuff. Um, so I may do that later on and upload it. But uh, as I say, yeah, it's everybody's fanatical. People have been camping out outside Windsor. The street parties round and about where I live all celebrate. Oh, no, I suppose it's nice to have something to celebrate. Um, but let's not forget that these are ordinary people born into an extraordinary lifestyle. Accident of birth. So I'll be uploading that for you anyway a little bit later on. The other thing I wanted to say is we're talking about accident of birth. As most of you know by now, I am a very spiritual person. I meditate, I meditate two, three times daily. 
I'm finding it incredibly helpful to me. Um, there are things that have happened with the lucid dreaming and as a body experiences that have scared me. I've had during my lifetime, I have had some experiences. I think intellectuals who knock um, belief in an afterlife or belief in God or belief in the universe and soul seeds um, I think people who knock that are very close-minded and it doesn't prove their intellect, it simply proves, to me anyway, that they're very close-minded people. I, people have past life um, regression and I've had a couple of past life regressions I've only one time experienced what happened in a past life to me and I'll tell you a little bit. I was 17, I died at the age of 17. I was a novice nun and it was somewhere in the 17th or 18th century, it was way back anyway. And I think it was in Italy, in a little town in Italy. And I lived with my parents and two sisters and a brother. And it was quite a vivid past life experience. I was living with my parents and my sisters and my brother and as I say, but I, I became a novice nun and I was then living in the sister house or whatever they called it. I was walking across the square from my parents' home back to the sister house, the mother house, and I fell down a drain, an open drain, about five, six feet down, and I fell. And I was a little top like I am now, 17, and it was two days before my body was found. And that was my vivid past life experience. I could see what I was wearing. I was all dressed in white white shoes, a long white gown and a white headdress. So that's a little something I share with you. And as I say, people who don't believe it, fair enough. But um, I think it pays to have an open mind about these things, don't you? Excuse me, I feel rude drinking, but my throat does bother me when I speak at any length. So yes, the med <coughs> meditation is helping me to sit and to contemplate or to lie on my bed and to contemplate the moments as they present themselves just a moment, concentrating on my breathing, forgetting everything and seeing where this contemplation takes me. Imagine being able to do that, sitting out, looking up at mountains or looking out at beautiful scenery, how fabulous that would be. one other thing I want to say when I I said that when I reached 500 subscribers I would do a giveaway I never expected my channel to morph into this and I think now um, yes the journey with Alpha but sharing some of the spiritual side and um, things that are important to me that I hope 
may help some people. Oh, excuse me again. <clears throat> but I did say when I reached 500 subscribers, I would do a giveaway. And I got overtaken, things happened, and I didn't do a giveaway. So now I'm almost at 800. And I'm definitely doing a give giveaway. I've got what I'm going to be giving away. And it's uh, a Parker pen, um, limited edition, with the landmarks of London on it. Um, so I'm going to be giving that away with um, some notelets um, and maybe a small book or something. Um, probably to the value of about $50, $60 in total. Not, you know, a lot of money, around about $50. And I wanted to do it that way because I wanted it to be personal and also to send a card that I've made to make it a little bit more personal. So there'll be a Parker pen limited edition, there'll be some notelets. Um, I may slip a crossword book in actually because I've got a couple of nice crossword books. All made in the UK and a homemade card. Um, so I'm going to do that for 800 and then when I get to 1000 obviously I'll do something a little bit more. Um, so uh, hopefully we'll get on to doing that next week and put your names down I'll show you what I'm going to be sending I'll need your address um, I think I'm going to have to put an email out for myself which if I get inundated with nastiness it doesn't really matter because it's an old email address and I'll just use it for giveaways and um, the rest will go into um, just be deleted uh, so that's how I'm going to go about it and I'll do that next week. But in the meantime, I um, haven't got my tiara on but I've got my headband on, tied my hair back. I'm going to be um, busy with the residents a little uh, this morning and I hope to uh, upload a short video showing how the nursing home is decorated and what's going on and I'll be back probably a little bit later on. Okay. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Don't forget to watch Law Wedding and cheer Harry and Meghan on. I am, um, yes, she's a social climber. Yes, she's got history and there's things about so that I don't like and things about. But you know what? On the whole, I do. I think she's a breath of fresh air. So good luck to them. And I'll be back later. Bless you all. Bye bye.